Hey everyone, welcome back to Magdalene's Craft. I am your tarot reader, Lady Magdalene. We have a three pile timeless reading for you all. And this is going to be on Saint Expedite. <laughs> he is, this is my statue of Saint Expedite here. I even have like the Saint Expedite necklace but I always keep the St. Expedite necklace over his neck. <laughs> but yeah, that's St. Expedite. And we are going to do timeless messages. So these are messages from St. Expedite to my collective. And for pile number one, you guys are going to be the Rose Aura Quartz. Rose Aura Quartz for pile number one. Pile number two, you guys are going to be the heart-shaped cherry quartz. Heart-shaped cherry quartz for pile number two. For pile number three, I can't exactly remember. I think this is roto rotocrosite, rotocrosite or something like that. Um, but anyways, this is a egg-shaped rotocrosite or I don't know, I can't remember how to pronounce it. And I'm not even sure if that's the correct gemstone, but I think that's what this is. Um, but yeah, that's for pile number three. I always I always call this my uh, strawberry milk egg because it reminds me of strawberry milk. So I'll just say the egg-shaped strawberry milk for pile number three, okay? Again, this is pile one, pile two, pile three on messages from Saint Expedite. If you chose pile number one with the rose or quartz, this is your timeless reading on messages from Saint Expedite. He definitely wants you guys to align your life and spread your wings align your life and spread your wings he feels like there's something that you could do or that you could be doing um, that's going to be very victorious for you for some of you this is creative writing okay some form of creative writing could be very victorious for you if you just spread your wings or align your life um, really examine what is not aligned for you really examine what needs to change in your life um, so that you can uh, be aligned with this victory here. It's, and I really feel like it has something to do with this creative writing or just something creative in general that you guys either want to do or you could be doing here. Um, some of you just really need to trust yourself. Some of you also need, some of you also need to trust your struggle. Some of you are going through some sort of struggle here, but you need to trust your struggle it says do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar your prayers have been heard and answered just have faith make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book we have the initiation rite of passage crossing the threshold yeah you guys need to cross the, the threshold here. Trust your, uh, trust your struggle and cross this threshold. There's, you guys, okay, so there's like, you guys need to make a major change. You gotta change something that is not aligning with your life so that you can cross through this threshold. Some of you are in a very dark place, or I, I guess, I mean, look, it's like a shadow place, but there's a pathway there if you just get through the struggle, get through this shadow place, you can come out on the other end of this where it's a lot more beautiful, vibrant, and positive. So trust your struggle and really examine what you need to cut out of your life or what, how, however you need to realign yourself um, to have some kind of victory within your life. A lot of you need to be honest with yourself. I'm also hearing for some of you, you need to stop making excuses for other people or either making excuses for yourself. 
you guys are protected. Saint Expedite is protecting you guys. It says, this is my house. Stained by the very blood flowing through its walls, covered in a veil of delicious prayers. I feel like you guys have been praying a lot, like a lot, because over here it talks about your prayers have been heard and answered. So I feel like you guys have definitely been praying a lot. It says, covered in the veil of delicious prayers, yet deadly to those who dare to lift its hidden. I'm hearing whoever's daring to fuck with you or who's ever daring enough to try you, you are protected from them. We have the black cat card. You guys, yeah, okay. Some of you are scared because it's like you don't want to, it's like you don't want to go into this pathway because it's the unknown. Sometimes the unknown can be scary or intimidating, but you just have to go. You just have to do it. It's like you guys are being stagnant with something here. You need to pretty much fly yourself into the unknown, leap into the unknown, have faith. They want you to have faith here. The timing is perfect. You're ready for this. Whatever this is, this change, this transition, this anything new that's about to come in or happen for you, this needs to be happening now or you need to be going after this now. This is the perfect time. Don't miss opportunities. Don't don't miss uh your life path either for some of you some of you are something here has to do with someone having a child someone here has a child and it's like you're scared to leap into the unknown because um you guys have like a baby or a child I think some of you are just trying to really make the best uh, decision or best option for your child. But I'm hearing the best option is to make some kind of major life change here. Yeah, some of you, I'm hearing for some of you, you need to save up for winter. Some of you need to save up um, and make a, a major change during the winter time. Maybe you need to save up your money to move. Maybe you need to save up your money to, for you and your child to leave a certain house or situation or place. Because I see someone sitting here looking outside. It's like you're looking out to your future. You're looking, you're trying to look into your future and how it could be. And as you're doing that, it's like some of you are saving money uh, behind the scenes here maybe someone here is like trying to get away um, from a situation like away from a baby daddy or a toxic partner and there's like a child involved involved for some of you here and I'm also seeing with this card that you guys are really really nervous right now uh, lots of anxiety um very, very nervous. But yeah, you guys need to be honest with yourself. Some of you definitely need to move. I'm hearing you need to move. Or if you're, you've are you been wanting to travel, it's time to travel. The time is now to go ahead and just get a passport and go wherever you want to go. For others of you, it's like a moving situation or getting a new place, a new house or apartment. But some of you, most of you need to be moving away. And for those that have been wanting to travel, you need to... Um, just go ahead and start traveling. And it says, don't be afraid to sing. I feel like some of you need to start being honest about not just yourself, but the people that surround you. Because there's some people in your life um, that is not in a line with you. So you guys need to also be honest with the people you surround yourself with. And don't be afraid to speak up or speak the truth or to be honest about not only yourself, but other people in your life. I'm hearing if you're trying to, to move away from like a abusive partner or a toxic partner, I'm hearing that there's help. There's some kind of help, either government help or some kind of assistance program. I'm, I'm seeing something, someone here needs to reach out to like those, um, it's like something for battered women. It's like a women's shelter. Someone here needs to go ahead and reach out to a woman's shelter to get help. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like, I think the women's shelters, like, they help 
house women and their children that have been in like toxic or abusive environments or marriages or relationships and I think they help house them or help find help them find a home or something like that um, someone here needs to look into that Someone here has been debating on going to school or debating on getting certified in something. You need to go ahead and start that college course or the, or the classes or online classes um, for whatever it is you're trying to get here through schooling. You need to go ahead and start school if that is what some of you have been wanting to do. But I feel like your nerves, it's like you, I feel like your nerves is in your stomach. Like some of you may even be experiencing um, health issues in your stomach, like stomach ulcers from stress or, you know, just your nerves making some of your stomachs like really upset and uh, painful here. You guys are very nervous, very anxiety ridden, uh, but you need to uh, pretty much amp up your faith, really believe and the spirits or deities or God or your angels or your ancestors really believe that they have your best interest in mind, believe that they protect you and guys really focus on strengthening your faith because you're about to make a big leap of faith, but it's something you need to do already now or you need to start planning for it now because some of you are, need to be leaving a situation or a home come winter time and you guys need to start planning on that now. But for others of you that have been uh, trying to do some kind of creative writing or something creative here or go to school, the time is now. You need to go ahead and do it. Do not hold back here. This is not a wise time to hold back. <clears throat> Some of the numbers that I'm seeing are 7, 29, 11, 43, 34, 17. This number could be an age, a birth month, a birth date, a life path number for you, but does not have to resonate for everyone. You guys, again, just be really honest with yourself, honest with the people that you have in your life. Be honest about your situation, your environment, so that you can realign yourself. And really have faith that you are protected in this in this process, okay? Because um, this is something that needs to be done. So that is everything I see for pile number one. If you guys enjoy this reading, please let me know down below in the comments section. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. I love and appreciate you all so very much. And we are going to move on to pile number two. Hey, pile number twos, if you chose the heart-shaped cherry quartz. This is your timeless reading on messages from Saint Expedite. <laughs> some of you are going to become mothers some of you that have been wanting to get if you have been wanting to get pregnant you are going to be a become a mother here but if you guys have not been wanting to get pregnant it's saying to uh, mother yourself so if you if you've been wanting to get pregnant he's saying that you will become a mother and that he will be here um, since he is saying expedite he is going to try to expedite uh, this pregnancy for you so that, you, that it will come quicker because um, some of you may be feeling impatient but I feel like he is going to try to come in and help uh, speed things up for you so that you guys can get pregnant now for the people that do not want to get pregnant you need to be mothering yourself nurturing yourself taking care of yourself some of you need to be so I heard for some of you you need to be the mother that you didn't have Maybe some of you need to heal some sort of childhood wounds here as well. That's only for some of you. He's also wanting you to work on your heart chakra or open up your heart chakra or either work to unblock your heart chakra. It says devotion, tune into the portal of your heart, inner temple. I'm also here and treat your body like a temple. So eat good foods, drink good drinks, drink plenty of water, uh, get adequate rest you know really make sure that you're treating your body like a temple 
Let's see, we have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. Yeah, some of you really need to focus on healing. Some of you are stuck in the past or you're dealing with past wounds or past traumas or um, some of you are just simply stuck on the past or something that happened in the past and you need to heal yourself from this, heal from the situation or, for, or from this uh, period of your life that may have caused you issues or traumas or something like that. Make sure that you're healing yourself. I'm hearing uh, divine transformation. We have divine order and transformation at the at the bottom. And I feel like some of you, okay, some of you need to be healing your divine feminine. Or you need to heal yourself so that you can be a divine feminine. Different messages for different people. But it's like your transformation is in divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Some of you um, are too, again, you're too focused on the past or something that went wrong in the past or either people that hurt you in the past. You've really got to heal from that so that you can focus on the here and now and the future moment. So we have gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. So St. Expedite wants you guys to know that you don't need someone else to fix you. Some of you um, could have been painted as a villain Maybe others of you, you are the villain. I don't know, but however it may resonate with this villain card, whether you are or not the villain, it's like you need to let go of whatever that is. Yeah, take back your power. Take back your power from whatever happened in the past. Take back your power. If someone slandered you or made rumors about you like you were some villain, just take your power back. And if for some reason, some of you literally are the villain, say you know you're the villain, um, you need to make things right, forgive yourself, forgive the situation so that you can take your power back. It says you can always rewrite this story. So if you feel like you guys, for, some, for those of you who feel like you are the villain, you can rewrite your, your story, your life, okay? But you're going to have to make a certain situation right or either forgive the situation or forgive yourself so that you can rewrite the story of your life so you can take back your power. It says use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. You guys really need to focus on uh, prioritizing here. Make sure that you're focusing on the right things that are going to benefit you. Make sure you're focusing on the right things that's going to give you power. It says, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. This is Archangel Metatron. So you guys definitely, the universe wants to give you, they want to give you this power here. They want to help you get your power back. But you guys, you've got to like stay out of your head and stay out of the past. Maybe some of you need to do a cutting cord ritual. I heard cutting cord ritual to cut out any energetic cords um, that you have with people or with people that you feel like you have uh, trauma with or that did you wrong. Um, this could help you heal here as well. For some of you, um, for some of you, this definitely has to do with a family member because this talks about being linked by blood. Some of you have trauma from your parent or parents. I'm hearing you need to try to focus on breaking generational curses or breaking um, like the whole cycle of your family. Make sure that you're like breaking the chain so you're not acting like your parent or parents or that you're not doing what your parent did to you or what your parents did to you. Break the chain, break the cycle here. He's wanting you to become very dedicated to yourself. He wants you to be dedicated to your healing, to yourself, to your priorities. Um, he definitely wants you guys to open up your third eye, start using your own intuition. Uh, maybe you're the type of person that only gets messages through like YouTube or something like that. But it's like he's wanting you to use your own intuition or your own gifts. If you have your own tarot deck, start using your tarot deck and trusting the messages through there. So if you guys are used to um, only getting messages through YouTube, try using your intuition or um, try using cards yourself. 
as well. He's, he's wanting to push you to open up your third eye. It says, you hold the answers. You know the truths. Ancient ones await behind the doors of the mind. So you guys may have some kind of um, ancient ancestors that are... Or maybe some kind of ancient deities that would like to come through, talk to you, help you, communicate with you. But you got to open up your third eye first, okay? So we have All Hallows' Eve. Yeah, some of you are up at night, like literally just up at night in your bed, focusing on the past or what happened in the past. Or either your past wounds or trauma here. It's like you can't even sleep. Um, this is cast in unforgiven howl as you stomp your might through the ground. So a lot of you need to let go of anger as well. Let go of anger um, that is involved with your past. So a lot of you are definitely in your head. Like this is affecting you mentally. This is definitely affecting your mental health. But you really need to cater to yourself. You need to mother yourself. You need to heal yourself and nurture yourself. No one else can help you in this situation is what he's trying to say with the you don't need someone to fix you. Only you are going to be the only person that helps yourself. So some of the numbers that I'm seeing are 33, 36, 38, 33 again. So you guys look up the angel number 33, 33. There is a uh, message there for my pile number twos. If you guys want to Google the angel number 33, 33. I'm also seeing 23 and the number one. So this could be a birth month, birth date, age, life path number. Uh, does not have to resonate for everyone though. But if you guys feel like it did resonate or if you just enjoyed this reading, please let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. I love and appreciate you all so very much. And we are going to move on to pile number three. Hey, pile number threes, if you chose this little strawberry milk <laughs> looking egg, these are your timeless messages from Saint Expedite. So some of you are getting out of that tower moment. Some of you recently experienced, experienced some kind of tower moment. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, you went through, you guys went through something really hard or really dark or really tough, but you are the ever unfolding rose. Cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So this tower moment that you recently had to deal with that I feel like you are um, really coming out of, um, this was for your, I guess it's saying it's, it was for your own good. Like it was happening for you, not to you. So whatever this tower moment was that happened to you, it was something that was kind of like meant to happen. I'm hearing this happen to, so that um, you could actually go on your life journey or your life path. It's, it's paving the way to where, where you're supposed to end up, where you're destined to be. So whatever this is, this tower moment, it, even no matter how tough or dark it was, it, there's, there's a journey coming out of this. And I feel like this tower moment has also made you like wise beyond your years. I feel like you guys either have really good street smart or you're just very smart in general. Um, whatever you went through has given you a lot of life experience or a lot of life lessons here. We have universe. We're all just stardust. Yeah, I feel like you guys, I feel like you guys have really given, I feel like you guys gave your tower moment up to God or you gave it up to the universe um, to take care of it. You know, sometimes our tower moments can be so hard that it's like the only thing you can do is like leave it up to something spiritual. And it's like you guys really gave your faith to the universe here. And it definitely helped you through this tower moment. I feel like whatever it is you have went through in life, you are now able to help other people or be a guide for other people or be some sort of assistance to other people when they're going through their own tower moments. You guys really uh, cleaned up a lot in your life. I'm hearing that Saint Expedite is proud of you or the universe or your spirit team or whatever is, you know, is they're definitely, everything is definitely proud of you. 
Um, sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> but I feel like um, you guys are kind of seeking out your dreams or you're manifesting your dreams. Um, and it's saying to make way. So, oh, this is so sweet and cute. Um, Saint Expedite is saying that I feel like you guys have had a certain goal or dream in mind for a long time. And it's like this tower moment has put you on your journey to manifest your goals or manifest your dreams. And St. Expedite is saying that, you know, you guys might be surprised that something soon is coming your way because it's like, it's saying that you guys need to make room. I feel like you guys are about to have like a flood of blessings come in for you. And he's like, make room because you guys are about to be blessed and blessed and blessed and then more blessed. So um, a clearing is need be. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be able to like donate a lot of your stuff because a lot of new stuff is coming in or you guys are going to be getting like a bigger house or bigger uh, apartment. <laughs> I can't seem to talk. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's like you guys are about to get more or a better car or bigger car. You guys are about to be highly, highly blessed. And I'm hearing that whatever it is you're doing, it's like you're going to have blessings up until you're like an old lady or an old man. This is something, whatever you've been going after, whatever this journey you've been on that this tower moment put you on, it um, it's going to make you blessed for the rest of your life. I feel like you guys aren't gonna have to deal with as, as many tower moments or as big or major tower moments as you're used to dealing with here. Yeah, some of you, um, you are like having a healthier lifestyle. Others of you, he's saying that you need a healthier lifestyle. So do try to manage to man maintain a healthy lifestyle. It says eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise for optimal health. So he's wanting you to start exercising and eating correctly. I'm hearing eating like uh, your greens, like make sure you're eating green food. Oh wow, we have break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So you guys have been working on rewrite, rewriting your future here. You guys have been healing. You've been doing the shadow work. You've been healing yourself. You've been breaking these chains. You've been rewriting your future. You guys, um, we have, ooh. We have clairvoyance and this one, I always forget how to say this, <laughs> but you got two, two clear cards here. Um, it says, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So some of you are having um, dreams, like your psychic abilities are, are coming through through like dreams here. Maybe you're dreaming of stuff. Uh, maybe uh, your spirit team has been trying to give you messages or vision, visions through your dreams. Make sure you guys are paying attention to your dreams here. Um, also, when it comes to like something that you see on TV or advertisement or a billboard or a sign, like a literal sign, um, make sure you're paying attention to everything that you vi can visually see because they're trying to send you visions and messages um, through possible like media or a TV, or your phone, um, or advertisement, or something like that. We also have this card which says, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So make sure that some of you are experiencing like feelings or gut feelings. So make sure you guys are noticing and acknowledging the feelings that you have, or the gut feelings, or that sometimes, you know, you can feel intuition. So if that resonates for you, make sure you're paying attention to what feels right and what feels wrong. So definitely pay attention to that. Like for an example, if you like hang around some, someone and this, you, this person always gives you a bad feeling or you feel like they're not trustworthy or not telling you the truth or like, you know, whatever it is, like trust your gut feelings when it comes to, to people or situations. So we have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being. So you guys, I feel like, yeah, you guys are getting spiritual downloads. I'm hearing some of you are, are gaining spiritual gifts. 
Um, even if you currently already have spiritual gifts, it's like they're trying to, um, the universe is trying to give you even more spiritual abilities, even more psychic abilities. So some, I'm hearing some of you are having some wild ass dreams. Like some of you may be having crazy dreams, wild dreams, uh, psychic dreams. Like I feel like there's a lot going on with your body, mind, and soul when you're asleep. So some of the numbers that I'm seeing are 31, 3, 39, 24, 8, and 15. This could be someone's age, life path number, birth month, birth date, but does not have to resonate for everyone. Again, I feel like you guys are about to like manifest a lot. Even if you're manifesting a lot now, I feel like it's going to be more than you ever dreamed of or more than you ever imagined. I feel like you guys are setting yourself up for the rest of your life with whatever it is you're doing or manifesting here or um, whatever your job is or your hobby or whatever it is you're doing. You are setting yourself up for the rest of your life. You're, all, you're going to be manifesting for the rest of your life and you're going to be receiving blessings for the rest of your life, okay? Because you guys, I feel like you guys have been through either one huge tower moment or either you have went through multiple tower moments and you've learned a lot from this, like a lot. You've gained a lot of knowledge here and I feel like you guys are going to be so blessed that and, and knowledgeable. You're going to be so blessed and knowledgeable that you're going to be helping other people. So really beautiful reading, pile number three. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. I love and appreciate you all so very much, and I will see you all in the next videos. Bye.